what you guys got another video here for you another fix it video for outlook as you can see here outlook opens up and closes this is a new problem with uh, the latest update of windows 10 another symptom that it does is basically when you click on outlook it will just give you the activity around near your cursor you'll see it there it's trying to open and it's not opening at all and i can try this again and it doesn't work so you'll either get the open and closing immediately or you get the uh, activity but nothing opens is both of these uh, symptoms are to do with the latest update on windows 10 2004 so how can you fix it well first off we need to roll back to an older version so it will work until microsoft release a fix now microsoft are pretty quick at releasing fixes for these types of things because these can cause major problems for businesses and people like that that use outlook and a lot of companies do use outlook so let's go ahead and open up uh, the command prompt with administrator privileges here by typing cmd in the search box and then clicking on run as administrator so what we need to do is navigate to a certain particular folder and then roll back that update and i'll show you how to do it so basically you just need to paste in change directory to and it will be program files common files microsoft shared click to run and it will put us in that directory once we're inside that directory we can then paste in the next command which is to update to a particular version and i'll show you how to do that here so you just need to put this in here and it will update to that particular version it will go out and check for updates and it will install that update and roll it back so we can use an older version and once that's done uh, you should be able to open up your outlook uh, program so let's go ahead and close this off and what we will do is we'll test it and see how that works so we can close off uh, command prompt here let's go ahead and uh, click on outlook and see what happens there we go we got the outlook now working so that's a little short quick fix video for you now once uh, microsoft release an update for this uh, problem as well as all the other problems that comes with their latest version of windows 10 you can see we've got uh, the version here which is using the older version you want to go into your update and security in your settings here and check for updates and then make sure you're using the latest version the reason why you've got to do this is because once you've rolled out to the very latest version of windows 10 which is the very latest update which is 2004 you're going to start to run into little minor bugs once you've updated your windows operating system you can then come back into your microsoft uh, office suite here and update uh, that software as well just to make sure you've got the very latest updates only do this once microsoft have released the fix and you can check that for known issues on windows 10 and you should once this is applied its updates you should be back up and running back to default settings unfortunately this is the only way you're going to be able to use outlook and get around to working with outlook until they release a fix and this is the reason why i keep telling you guys is to never update to the very latest version of windows 10 right away you want to hold off for a couple of months before you even uh, think about updating to that latest version now you're going to get people on the internet telling you to update straight away and even before they've even done the official release and the problem with that is you're going to run into problems like this and this is just one of many problems that's happened uh, with the latest version of windows 10 it seems that every version they release is always bugs and problems with it and let all the other guinea pigs download and install these updates early now i can tell you that windows 10 1909 will receive updates for a good while longer yet and you will always receive the same updates as you would if you was on uh, windows 10 2004 so you make your choice and update to whatever version you like but basically hold off for a little while and let all these other people uh, download these updates and install them and have the problems that you see here anyway with that said my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just a quick video thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.